knock knock. Hi, Mrs. Pendleton. Yes. Hi, my name is Caroline. I'm going to be your nurse today. Do you mind if I call you Mrs. Pendleton? Sure, that's fine. Okay. So today we're going to be doing a skin, hair, nail, neck, and lymph assessment. Can you tell me what brought you in today? Yes, I was out in the sun in the garden yesterday, and I didn't have any sunscreen on, and I, I have a sunburn on like my shoulder. I was wearing a tank top and on my shoulders and arms. Okay. Um, and when did it start? Well, I noticed it last night at, when I was about to take a shower. Okay. And I, it was starting to burn a little bit. and. Okay, that's so when it's... I, yes, last night. Probably, I would say, after I came in, which was probably about 5 o'clock. Okay, so it's burning and itching? It's really burning. It's not itching okay. right now. And have you been doing anything to help it? I've just been using some cool compresses on it at this time. That's okay. all, just cool compresses. Okay, and does anything make it worse? If, if I, like, touch it, okay. or if I put any, like, clothing on it, it kind of stings a little bit. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to get into your past medical history. Sure. Do you have any significant health issues that we should know about? The only thing that I um, have is hypertension. Okay. And do you take any medication for that? I do. I take amylodipine. Okay. And do you know the milligrams? I don't. Okay. So we'll look that up. Um, now, does anyone in your family have headaches, dizziness, fainting spells, um, melanoma, skin cancers? Yes, um, I, I had a history of migraines when I was younger. Okay. Um, my mother's side of the family has melanomas. She had two sisters that had melanomas, both removed. Okay. Okay. Um, now, do you wear sunscreen? Not all the time. Okay, Mrs. Pendleton. So you know that it's very important to wear sunscreen all year round. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. So we'll we'll go over that. Um, but we're just going to get started on the assessment. I'm just going to wash my hands. Sure. So I'm just going to ask you to take off your headband, please, sure, so I can feel sure. your head. Sure. Okay. So I'm just going to take a look at your hair. Um, your hair seems smooth, dry, clean, no flaking. Your scalp appears intact, firm. You don't notice any tenderness or any sores? No, not at all. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to take a look at your head. I'm going to just look for symmetrical. Okay, you're all symmetrical. Now I'm just going to take a look at your arms. Oh, yes. This really hurts when okay. I do that. All right, so I'm going to have you take one arm out. Sure. Um, all right. All right, so you have a rash that extends from the posterior shoulder all the way down to your wrist. It's warm to the touch. There's no apparent blisters or oozing of the skin. You do have several freckles. Okay, I'm going to have you put that back in. Okay, I'm going to take a look on your back. You have several freckles. Your skin is pink, warm, dry. I'm just going to take this one. Say, okay. Yep, you have red. It's warm to the touch. Again, no blisters, no oozing of the skin. Okay, take a look at your chest. I'm just going to do a little pinch to check your turgor. That tells how dehydrated sure. you are. Okay, you have great turgor. It goes back into place promptly. You do have two moles. They appear to be about one centimeter. They're smooth, regular borders, no irregular colors. Um, you, do you go to a dermatologist for this? I don't. Okay, so we'll probably have to set up a follow-up appointment just keep these monitored. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at your legs. Okay, your skin is, again, warm, dry, several freckles. Your toenails, they're round, clean, pink. There's no bunions or calluses, which is good. Okay, I'm going to check your stomach. Okay. You have several freckles. You do have a scar. What well, is that from? An appendix? Appendix. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. The borders are intact and symmetrical. So now I'm just going to take a look at your nails. Okay. Your nails are round, clean, dry. Your cap refill is less than two seconds, which is great. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to be feeling for your lymph nodes, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to feel for any enlargement or tenderness. Let me know if anything's tender to the touch, okay? No, everything seems okay. That's okay. 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 There appears to be no adenopathy. I'm going to have you tilt your head up. I'm going to have you swallow, please. Okay. Okay, your trachea and thyroid are at midline. No deviation. Your lobes are palpable, non-tender. Okay. And now I'm just going to take a listen to your temporal artery and your carotid artery. Okay. Okay, your pulses are strong and bounding on both sides. Same with your carotid, strong and bounding on both sides. And I'm just going to feel your jaw for any tenderness clicking. I'm going to have you open and close. Do you feel any clicking, tenderness, tightness? No. Okay. Perfect. So that concludes our exam. Just going to sit down with you and go over some things that I think we could work on. So I'm going to suggest that you wear sunscreen, at least SPF 30 all year round, regardless if it's sunny or cloudy. That will prevent from any sun damage. Um, I'm going to have you follow up with a dermatologist. And I'm also going to suggest that you wear a hat and sunglasses when you're out in the snow to, or excuse me, sun, to protect yourself, your eyes, and your skin from the sun. Okay. Um, as for your sunburn, I'm going to suggest that you take um, 10 ounces of water at least eight times a day. Okay. And that's going to prevent dehydration. Um, I'm going to suggest you keep using the aloe vera at least two times daily to help soothe the irritation and the burning. Okay. And I'm going to suggest you take Tylenol and Ibuprofen um, at least four to six hours as needed for the pain or the irritation the sunburn might be okay. causing. And then you're going to continue with your, um, your blood pressure medication and I'm going to find out the dosage that you're on. Um, so do you have any questions? I don't. You don't think this is going to blister, do you? No, I don't believe so. It's only a first degree burn, so that means it's just your, your epidermis on top that's okay. irritated. Okay. So we're just going to keep applying the aloe vera, the cool compresses, and just rest and stay out of the sun. Okay. Okay? Great. Sounds All right. good. Thank, Thank you. you.